BBC wanted me to go on TV and talk about it. I said no. I couldn't talk about Joe in public. Not at the moment. Lots of people on about Joe's death. Everyone phoning and asking the same thing. Why? I think the motive was Halliwell loved Joe. Halliwell felt that something very big and important threatened that love. He couldn't kill that, so he killed Joe Alton. This is the only thing that makes any sense. If there is any sense in murder. The whole mess that is existence and mundane things is shot through and transformed by redemption. This is what Jesus meant about redemption. It's the only way. One real act of love. Please let me be capable of it. Give me one chance, and don't let me be a moral coward. <laughs> Amen. Jeans, Jeremy. New Sparks boy, Elfie. Well, he certainly knows how to tweak a light bulb, doesn't he? <laughs> Think you're going to be a fan of mine, aren't you? Such outspokenness. Right, front well, row, please. 16 mil camera. Really? Well, I'm like that, me. Forward. You've got quite a few fans on this unit already. Charlie Autry, for one. He buys you chocolates, I believe. Not my type. Two shards. I think you're in there, Kenny. You think so? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 He's 27, unmarried, and he lives in Catford. Oof, what a honey. Oh. Mm. Well, you've either got it, dear, or you haven't. <laughs> Thank goodness my Kenny's not like that. Like what? Well, you know. Sad, isn't it? Is it? My Kenny, he, he's not a homosexual. No, he's a, um, now what's he call it? He's asexual, yeah, that's it. No, he don't do anything mucky. He's a very clean living boy. I've certainly gone off him. It seems extraordinary now that I was even bothered. He's an ignorant lout, and that's all there is to it. Such lewd behaviour. To think I used to think you were a great dish. And got an erection when I was near you. And now it's all died completely. So there! Good job it was only a mental affair. Yes. Still the heartache. Bottoms up. Well, the bum was a joke yesterday, I can tell you. And after the barrel motion, I thought I should go demented or something. 
And we all know why, don't we? Fiddling about. But, thank goodness, after the ointment and the suppository I shoved up in, things have finally quietened down. I was able to venture into the street today, looking like most pedestrians. Nobody actually screamed out, Got a touch of the farmers, have you? Farmer Giles, got a touch of the farmers? Then I said to the chemist, I'm warning you, girl, be careful. There's enough talcum powder up there that if I blow off, everyone will be covered in dust. <laughs> and she said quite curtly, I thought, rather you than me, and rang up the pill. <laughs> Have you tried milk of magnesia for it, dear? Do you mind, Joan? I'm talking here. Oh, listen to her. Can't get a word in that way. I swear I was old or something, anyway. To cut a long story short, I tried something new this morning. Some of that Johnson's foot powder up there. Can't do any more harm, can it? Eh? Let's see how that affects your day, Joan. Eh? Oh dear. <laughs> Penny, for your thoughts. The reason for most of the smut in this world is boredom. Isn't it, Joan? Is it? Yes. People like to attribute it to reasons more profound, but in my opinion, it's people's conceit that seeks profundity in reasons for behaviour. Don't you think? I wouldn't know. I'm not that bright. Bad day, was it? I always have a bad day performing in such crapola. When I think of the shameless way I behave in these studios, dirty minds, the dirty songs, the obscene dialogue, and... The crowds that gather round you like a family. Marry me, Joan. What? Oh, there'll be nothing messy, just friendship, companionship. You've got your mother for that, Kenny. Yes, and you both get on, don't you? I need a little bit more than that, lovey. What else is there? I haven't given up hope yet, you know. I'm only 43. 45. Well, there's life, there's hope. Besides, it wouldn't work out, would it? You'd never be able to accept my tights drip-drying in your sink, would you? I might. You wouldn't. You grow to hate me with all my female paraphernalia on show. Hmm. Perhaps you're right. I know I'm right. I can read you like a book, Kenny. A love story, am I? A love story. You've got a spastic colon. You make it sound like I've won the lottery. <laughs> Intimate life? He told me he'd keep his eye on it. I told him everything about my predicaments. He said I should find a suitable companion to share my life with, not to worry. You don't have to go too far, Mr. Williams. A little shared mutual masturbation won't hurt you. I thank you for your professional advice, Doctor. Good. Mind you, better to find someone older than yourself, not someone who's after your money. Mm, quiet. Charming. I sat alone in the park, thinking of likely lovers. but not a type entered my head. Lovely day for it, don't you think? A walk in the park. Oh, lovely. <laughs> Trace romantic. <laughs> All this excrement is a disgrace. <laughs> <laughs> 